Hey yo, it's Doomsday Guy. Welcome back. This is gonna be a part two to my thumb placement guide uh, for controller players. Uh, if you watched my last video, you'll see just right off the bat that I've actually switched to a PlayStation controller. I used to play on an Elite Series 2 Xbox controller. And uh, basically along my journey, as I said in my last video, to trying to get my aim as good as Mutex, if you don't know, is a very good Call of Duty player. If you don't know who he is or have never watched any of his gameplay, he has a unique way of moving around the map compared to other controller players. The most controller players, when you watch them play, even if they're really good, like even a lot of pro players, basically like flick their thumbsticks, is what I've noticed. Like whenever they move around the map, they're flicking. And obviously I'm over exaggerating right now. But they're they're not smooth with it. And Mutex, on the other hand, has a combination of flicks, but he also is able to slow his aim down just like this. And move so smoothly across the map. And when you're watching him like perform at his best when he's doing this. I, I mean, it's there's nothing like it. I mean, the swagger he has is just, it's unmatched. And it's so entertaining to watch. And I've pretty much cracked the code on how he does it. I haven't seen a single person on anywhere on the internet figure out how he does it. There are actually a couple other players that are similar to him that I found that also move like he does. Uh, and I'll name them right now. Punch Goes Big, Dawsor. Uh, Shotzi has a, a pretty good element of it, and I tried basically originally imitating their thumb placements, and I talked about that in my last video where I, I thought it was their thumb placement, and in a way it is, but it's not how I described it per se. Um, I offered one example of a thumb placement you could use, and while I still think that that provides you good results, and that is uh, basically the... the way about it. I didn't really explain in depth why or what is actually allowing you to have better aim there because I honestly didn't understand it myself. So I'm going to be basically going over that right now. Uh, and as you can see, I also now play Claw um, and I play Bumper Jumper Tactical. So I went from having a controller with paddles to basically just a default PlayStation controller. And I think my shot, my movement, just my overall gameplay is the best it's ever been and I this is why I'm so passionate about sharing this with people is because I truly believe that you can be a pro player or on a pro player's level with just default hardware I'm just gonna start this off with saying when you hold a controller let's say you hold a controller normally let's start with how your thumb moves so the, the overall idea here is you want to be able to look left to right seamlessly and consistently. You don't want to ever like screw up your aim when you're looking left and right by going like that. And that is a problem that I've had for so long and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. And it's so hard to, to like find on the internet information about it because how do you explain like how to look left and right on a controller? You know what I mean? Without sounding like a total bot. I'm a 3KD player and I still struggle to look left and right like consistently and accurately in stressful moments. And I've noticed that it really comes down to your thumb and your hand size and things like that. Like everyone's different and that's hard to basically come to terms with when you're trying to copy someone else's hand placement or thumb placement on a controller such as Mutex. Like I have pretty big hands, but not like huge hands. And I don't, I can't tell based on their hand cams, like whether or not I have bigger or smaller hands, but I will say that you need to find a grip that allows you to look left and right consistently. And what I've found personally that has helped is moving from here, down here, my thumb down here, and just tilting it up a little bit so that I'm basically, my thumb is, is in a horizontal pattern like this. That has helped me so immensely because it's just easier for my thumb to use this joint right here, these joints, these two joints, to move left and right rather than using this part of my thumb because I realized that this part of my thumb is not accurate. It's just not. 
it provides too much strength when I don't need it and too little strength when this part of my thumb is trying to make adjustments. It's just not good. See how it's moving down here, but when you move it up, it's mostly this part of your thumb moving rather than this part. Whereas here, like see how much this joint right here is moving? Compared to this, you know what I mean? An instant example of how in gunfights you're able to make micro adjustments if you're able to just use this part of your thumb. It's this part of your thumb that's screwing up your aim and making it inconsistent. And going around corners, like previously when I would slide cancel around corners with a with a bad thumb placement, I would I would aim up like this. I would aim too high or I'd aim too far to the left or right. Like that. Like it's hard to get that consistent like flick around the corner like if I want to aim in the middle of this corner it's very hard see how I just flick to the far left it's very hard but if I'm going with my thumb up a little bit see how easy it is for me to just flick to the middle now granted it's not perfect but I mean that is a world of difference right there look at that and if I'm moving left to right boom S consistent look at that 180 I just did right there As opposed to, see, see how I'm moving up, too far up? It's inconsistent. And that is literally what's going to set you apart from a pro player and a really good player. There isn't enough understanding in people like me and, and the people who watch my videos who really want to take that extra step in like understanding and being the best player they can be. But basically, again, just finding that right position of your thumb so that you can aim left and right consistently no matter how hard of a left to the right you need, will literally make you so much better of a player. And not only that, you will be able to have that, that smooth swagger that you will see players like Mutex, Dalsor, and them have. Everyone has different thumb sizes and hand sizes. So someone who has bigger hands might need to hold their uh, controller like this to get that same effect that you would need to hold your controller like this to get, basically. If that makes sense. It's everyone's different. And just play around with it in a bot lobby. Really play around with it. If you need to tilt your thumb even like up to here so that you're consistent, whatever it takes, man. You'll notice right here, the tip of your thumb to right here, this joint right here, you'll feel a joint here. You only want this part to be the main, act, uh, main part of your thumb that allows you to aim. You want very little of this part of your thumb to aim because this is inaccurate. You'd have to play on a very low sensitivity for that for that part of your thumb to really sh be able to keep up at a high level. And I hope that you guys could just try this out for yourselves and hopefully it'll relieve a lot of your issues you've been having. And if you guys have any of your own findings or um, stuff you'd like to add or ask questions, please ask them in the comments. I'm definitely down to keep this discussion open. I'm always learning new stuff myself. But all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys take care. All right.